morning everyone and welcome to Natik in Elk Grove, California and NatikYarns.com coming to you live on this crisp winter morning. It's the Thursday, Thursday. before Christmas. Eek. So Ooh. we're almost there. We're almost done. Everybody's <laughs> going to be able to take a deep breath soon. Mm, that's good. Um... Oh my gosh, I have to tell you guys, because it is a little chilly here for us, um, a funny story, because last night, I'm sitting in bed, and I'm like, why is it so cold in my house? And I look at the record on my smart thermostat, and it says it's been running 24-7. So I get up, and I hold my hand up to the vent, and it's cold air. That's not right. The heater's not supposed to blow cold air. I'm like it's basically being a glorified fan and has been for a while and I just didn't realize it because I run a space heater in my bedroom. But it was so chilly last night that it started to seep in anyways. And I go, look, the last time a technician came out to work on our air conditioner in the summer, apparently they turned the igniter switch off for Oops. the heat. So. <laughs> Why would they I do that? In my pajamas at like 11 o'clock trying to figure out what's wrong with my heater and Googling it and finding videos. And I'm like, yeah, okay. So that is weird that that switch right there is off because that's the igniter switch. <laughs> I kind of need that for, cause I'm like, there's no fire in here. You know, yeah, there's no, fire that's, in that's here cold. <laughs> what's, what's going on? Why is there no fire? Figure that all out, clean. It's been off so long that it didn't want to suck in any gas cause it has this little sensor that tells you, tells it it's not lighting. Don't keep pumping gas in here because you're going to blow up the house. So it had gone, now I'm not doing this. So I had to turn everything off for five minutes while I was at it. I thought, let's just clean the little nozzles with a Q-tip just in case because the internet said to clean those. So, you know, you do what the internet tells you. <laughs> clean those all up. So I don't know if it was the turning it off for five minutes or the cleaning it, but I have heat again. Yay. House. Beverly, so I hope you have uh, heat. Beverly oh, says it's yes. snowing. I know. I have acquaintance level friends still in Montana and one town. Now, none of them live in this town, but wind chill, negative 72 degrees. What? It's colder than the North Pole. That's wrong. <laughs> That's really wrong. I'm like, and I have heard several people say they want to move back there. And I'm like, you do remember how cold it was, right? <laughs> like, really? Negative 72. No, thank you. I mean, where I grew up was only negative 55. Mm. But still. No, thank you. Like, what is happening right now? They are turning into popsicles up there. Like, I don't even know how their houses aren't just... You know, you know how sometimes when you get stuff really cold and it's brittle and it breaks? And yeah. Like, I don't really know how the houses aren't just falling down. Well, that's funny. Not if you're there, but. <laughs> oh, yeah. Darla has a friend in Boulder and they're negative 39. Mm. Like, oh, they're on the warm side of the state. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> oh, there's such irony in that. There's a warm side of the state. It's negative 39 <laughs> degrees. Okay. Before we all freeze to death from talking about it. Um, oh. let's talk about our fabulous grand prize, which is our pattern for the love of the game, which was originally designed to use team colors in this really fun stripe sequence of just two rows of each color, nothing too crazy. And we have paired it with one skein of Savvy and one skein of Rasta. So we have Savvy in this pretty speckled color called Wet Stone. And then Rasta in what I'm pretty sure is Teal Feather. I really should look that up one of these days and make sure I'm <laughs> quoting the right color here. But this really pretty aqua green color. So you're basically going to stripe two rows, two rows between the two colors. Um, we'll, we're going to write some notes on here because this was originally designed in like a heavy bulky more like the Malabrigo Noventa so we're going to change it to probably size 15 needles cast on a few less stitches which will just make it an even faster project big yarn goes super fast oh I started a rapido from our last mm. grand prize yeah I started one out of the leftovers from like 
like the mini skein leftovers from my big neon shawl and then oh, that bright yeah, up yeah. towel. <gasps> Pretty. So, and that's super fast because it's size 10 and a half needles. So that's satisfying. I think I spent half an hour and got an inch of knitting on <laughs> my needles. Nice. It's fabulous. Um, but how you get entered into the grand prize is every time you make a purchase from the 16th through the 31st of December, you get one entry. It's cumulative, so if you purchase 10 times, you get 10 entries. If you purchase 20 times, you get 20 entries. And that includes purchases made here in the boutique, online at natiquearns.com, and even over the phone with us. And then on Tuesday, the 3rd of January, 2023, still weird, um, we will draw to see who the lucky winner is. Okay. Moving on to the daily drawing, which is another one of our fun patterns. This is the Escanaba cowl, which I will be up updating it with new pictures soon because we just did one out of a Noro yarn. Ooh. We did that Kashi Rukuru. Ooh, really that's going to be nice. pretty. Super soft. So it shows the details a little more because we did a light color. But this one is just a really fun pattern of your doing ribbing. And then you have this shifting rib. I believe you do the shifting rib first. So it's about two thirds of the width are in the shifting rib and one third is in the straight ribbing. And for the prize, we paired it with some beautiful self-striping wool yarn. There's two skeins here. So we have 244 yards. So that's enough to make the small or the medium because six yards you know we give you guys a little more wiggle room than that in our patterns uh, so you'll have plenty of yarn to do either the small gator length size or the medium more necklace length size and how you get entered into the daily drawing is what you're already doing interacting with the video every reaction these fabulous little bubbles down here at the bottom gets you one entry per click so you can go crazy and click a whole bunch and then if you comment on the video you get five entries per comment and then if you share the video to your story to your friends to a page wherever you share you just come back to that day's video and put shared to and where, because it's kind of weird to just write shared to. Plus mm. we like to see, especially if you share to a group, we like to see if we can go make some new yarny friends in the gr different groups that are out there. Uh, and then you get 11 entries per share. And then we come over to the handy dandy comment picker and see who our lucky winner is. Sandra Gee, you are local, so you get to come say hi and let us know you have a prize in the cabinet. And if you win and you're not local, just let us know the next time you make a purchase you have a prize and we will include it in your shipment. We like to say hi to everybody who comes in. And we'll say hi to everybody who's online. Mary, where do you live? You said it was, what, minus 46 this morning? Oh, another popsicle land. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I'm cold for you guys. Yeah, I mean, it hits 32 here, and I'm like, okay, it's cold. I don't want to go below that. I mean, I will say from my experience in living in somewhere that was a dry cold, because if you love skiing, Montana's amazing. They have the driest snow ever. It's powder. <laughs> which I understand is amazing for skiing. I can't ski. Mm. I never made it off the bunny hill, hill. Me neither. It was really kind of a joke. I'm like, please, can I go home now? Uh, it was a school field trip. I couldn't go home now. <laughs> it was mildly annoying. I had to continue to participate uh, in the thing that I could not do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Mary says Eastern Wyoming. I love Wyoming. I would love to go back and oh, visit. Yeah, see, there are some <laughs> more dry cold. Yeah. Uh, but when it's, because when it's that cold, it freezes all the moisture right out of the air. Mm. Um, but warmer temperatures here, because of the dampness in the air, feel much colder than when it's really, hmm. really dry. So I am more than happy to be a big baby here 
in the wet cold than they're in the dry cold because that cold can kill you. Our cold is just like <laughs> uncomfortable. <mildly annoying. laughs> okay, Mary. <laughs> okay, let me grab my link for the first thing we're talking about. Okay, actually, before I go into that, um, don't forget if you need to get a gift certificate or you need someone to get you a gift certificate you should remind them that if they do it by the end of day on saturday there's a bonus attached so for all of our gift certificates they get this handy dandy thing called yarn money which is basically a certificate for future use that's essentially an extra gift certificate so if they buy you a 50 dollars gift certificate or if you buy yourself a 50 dollars gift certificate you get five dollars. If you do a hundred dollars, you get ten. Two hundred dollars, twenty. So on and, and so, so forth. On. So if you do a thousand dollar gift certificate, whoa! Or someone does a thousand dollar gift certificate for you, they clearly love you. Wouldn't that be awesome to receive? Right. Then you would get a hundred dollar bonus. Okay, I know what to tell you. You to tell my husband. <laughs> to get you a thousand dollar gift certificate. Yeah. I think I would make him pass out. You might. Actually, he'd probably just laugh at you. Yeah, and that's probably why he'd pass out if he'd be <laughs> laughing so hard. Um, so make sure, and there's a post on Facebook, Instagram. If you're on our newsletter, you got an email. Just make sure to subtly drop that, in, you know, share that to them. Like, oops, I don't know why I forwarded that email to you. Oops, why did I share that <laughs> post on Instagram with you, significant other friend? Or just be blunt. Like, <laughs> yeah, or be like, buy me this. Yeah, this is this is what I want. This is my Christmas list right here. Buy me this. Easy. And then they get a bonus. So, and that's even if you're not local. If you're not local, we'll have like a create like a little coupon code for you for your amount, because it's a little hard to be like, can you mail these back to us, and then we'll credit you. Like this is no. complicated overly complicated so we will just do it by code for our not local peeps okay then oh i forgot to grab a link for that other thing well i'll have time to do that is it linking fun no <laughs> i am so glad it's your job and not mine because it's a pain in the booty he's fun finding the projects is fun yeah i like that part no i like the speed of going back and forth and finding <laughs> oh my gosh I know, it's crazy. Okay, so for those of you who loved the December Dream and Color Pop-Up Club, it's back! Woohoo! We got more! It is icy and beautiful. It makes me think of a certain movie because it's all those kinds. But the movie's all those kinds of colors. Do so I you have, have to admit that? Do I, I have to let it go? Song. Yes. <laughs> I promise not to sing the song though. So, you know, there's, there's that. I will not sing. But this one is the Smushy Cashmere, which is fingering weight. There we go. It is 70% superwash merino, 20% cashmere, 10% nylon. And it is 400 yards per skein. <laughs> Thank you, Darla. <laughs> We'll take a close look at my favorite part of this game. The part with the purple? Yes. I am shocked. I know, right? Is anybody surprised? Nope. So it has that beautiful turquoise, sterling blue, red violet, lavender, charcoal. It makes where the charcoal overlaps the t turquoise, you get this really beautiful dark teal. There's some violet and indigo in the speckles. It's just a very pretty kind of wintry color. And I have pulled up lots of fun projects for you that you could do with one skein. Because I know, you know, right now it's the time that your family picks up buying yourself stuff. It's Christmas. What if I bought that already? I'll still but, use it. You know, one, it's not a big deal. And it's sock yarn. It doesn't count as fast. That's so, right. Bonus all around. Um, so I found some cute. Colors of winter and snow, definitely. 
first up is this fun speckle shawl, which obviously was designed for a speckle yarn by the name. Uh, how have I not seen that one? I don't know. I searched speckle. I need to go cast on you, project number six. You're going to have to wait 44 minutes. And then some. And then some, because, you know. Break. Busy day. <laughs> um, but really fun boomerang shaped shawl with this garter stitch pattern with eyelet detail. Perfect for showing off a yarn like this where it's all about the pretty color. And look how fast it's going to be for fingering. Size 8 needles. Whoa, awesome. It's even a free pattern. And they only used 350 yards, hmm. so you could make it even probably a repeat bigger. Go Still bigger, go run home. Out of yarn. <laughs> yes. Then we have this Ooh. fun two color one, the Speckle Tonic. This is another one that I'm like, how did you miss it? I don't know. I need to broaden my um, search parameters. Look at how I pretty. Speckle, that's how I found these first love couple. love that lace work. They look like little flowers. But look at all the pretty colors that you could put with it. I mean, obviously it goes wonderfully with bedtime. So that could be your lace. Um, Divine, which is violet. If you like more of the cerulean blue, you could go vivid. Or if you like the softer turquoise, you could go true to life. Wow. Or you could end up finding an ombre, ombre. that uses all five. You could because sprinkle this in between all the other colors. Ooh, that'd be fun. Okay, we're going to have to, making, I don't know, we're going to have to find a, I guess I'll have to find a five color when I do the collective linking. But I like this speckle tonic. It basically only takes one skein each of your two colors and voila. Oh, here's like kind of a turquoisey combo. Pretty. I think you need to do this one. Needs beads. I was thinking that. Suddenly I'm into beads again because of my current project beads okay then if you want just kind of a simpler project this one's fun this is a good one for learning to do the i-cord edging because you can see i want it to zoom in more we'll come maybe this one will be closer ah there we go so it's got this beautiful i-cord edge that's kind of chevron sawtooth border but it's all just squishy garter stitch, so it's the kind of thing that is an easy peasy knit. You can see, if I zoom back out, you can easily tuck it up into like a boomerang cowl, wrap it around your shoulders a little more, across the back. This is good knitting when company is over or you are at somebody else's house. Yes, sometimes you need just knit, knit, knit. And again, only one skein of smushy cashmere to make this beauty. Samadhi. I did link all these for you guys. And on Thursdays, when the Link Ninja is the camera person, um, Susan does go in after the fact in the collective and create a post with all these links too. So if you can't find it, don't worry, we will relink it. Then if you want a fun, easy cowl, there's this gray loop, which is just mesh lace, stockinette, garter ridge, mesh lace, repeat. Very easy infinity cowl that can be wrapped twice to get you more of that shorter fit or leave it long. Then this was a really That's cute, cute. Hat. It's basically, I, like a fisherman's rib version of seed stitch. Like you're doing knit one belows to create this texture that's very seed stitch like, but very fun, easy texture. It's gonna mix up the speckles really nice. You've got this twisted rib, slouchy fit. Just add a palm and what's not to love? That's Ada's Slouch by Wooly Wormhead. And this pattern is written for any gauge, so that's nice. Wow. You can basically pick what works best 
for you. Guess you better swatch. <laughs> or know your typical yeah, gauge. Know your oh, I have this one in my library. And then Tilted Texture by Jennifer Wiseman. I actually saw a project out of this one in a speckle, Ooh. and it was really pretty. Because you would think, okay, maybe the speckle's too much, but because it's just these simple textures, that one won't zoom. There we go. Like you've got stockinette, garter, kind of a seed stitch or double moss, some ribbing, kind of a bias rib, nothing too intricate, so it still plays nicely with a speckle. And that one is the only one I linked that takes two skeins. Okay. But then if you need some foster projects and love this color, don't worry. There's a worsted weight version. So we also got in more in the classy cashmere. which is their worsted weight. It is 200 yards of scrumptious cashmere blend. So this one is just slightly different. It is 80% superwash wool, 10 cashmere, 10 nylon. I love all the big speckles in this one. Yeah, you can see like, it's almost like different mediums, but it's because of the base that it changes it. That the fingering weight ends up a little more watercolory and the classy cashmere ends up more bold where the speckles kind of stay concentrated together. They're like chocolate sprinkle size. Yeah. They remind me of, so I did used to paint, and they remind me of the difference between like watercolor and oil paints. Mm -hmm. Because watercolor doesn't stay where you put it. Oil paints do. <laughs> That's why I didn't like watercolor. They did not hold still. That's why I no longer paint, because I have more control over my yarn. It's funny, I love this teal color here on this skein. Purple on one, teal on the other. Right? Okay, let me pretty, grab pretty, pretty. my links for you guys while you drool over the pretty color that happens to match Susan's nails. It does. Yeah, there was that other issue too, Kathy, of oil paints do take a thousand years to dry. Mm, yeah. Which, you know, I'm not patient for. Hello, Marlene. Okay, so if you're in love with worsted weight, these are not necessarily one skein projects because it's a little harder to find one skein in worsted. There's tons in fingering, but I found this really cute Ooh. shawl. Oh. Called TGV High Speed Knitting. It's just a simple crescent with garter stitch and then ribbing. So nothing fancy. So it pairs well with a speckle, a variegated, striping. Like it goes with everything. This person pinned theirs oh, out wow. with points. And you can see this person changed it. They did like sections of a seed stitch and stockinette. So if you got bored with garter, you could do, you could alternate garter, stockinette, garter, stockinette. Seed stitch is a little more pay attention. You could do it, but you have to pay attention and be like, wait, is that a knit or a purl to know where to start? So I would just do like garter and stockinette if I got a little bored, because it's easier. I think you went through my library today. I did not. <laughs> I did not use your library. This is another any gauge pattern, so you could do it out of the smushy if you like a lighter weight shawl. But a very fun and fast knit. Then we have this cute larber hat, which is these little tuck stitches where you slip the stitch for five stitches on one row and then like two rows later, you pick that strand that you left up and knit it in with the stitch so it creates these little like arrows and then a little garter in between so you're getting this really pretty textural rib i want to go back just to show you like here's it in a busier color and wow. you can see the pattern still shows very nicely 
and that's a wind scanner. Then I can see Karen doing this one, mm -hmm. Woods and Water. Really fun and fast looking cowl. I think she has done this one. It's a little garter stitch, a little mesh lace. Oh, maybe that's that one that she can't think of the name of. Might be. We'll have to ask. But nothing too crazy. Yarn over knit two togethers. Knits, pearls. That really long one she did, huh? I thought that was hugs and stitches. No, that's different yarn. <laughs> Karen. <laughs> Karen, you've done too many projects. We can't remember them all now. But you can see it plays nicely with variegateds. It plays nicely with speckles. It's even a free pattern and only one skein for a necklace length size, which is our favorite size. Then last but not least, we have the perfect knit slouch hat, which they show here in a self-striping. Here's more of like a variegated one, but it's just twisted rib. Let me show this one because the detail shows a little better on this. No, not that one, this one. So it's knit through the back loop, pearl one basically, and then you decrease down to get this really beautiful slouchy hat. Like look at the way it gathers on the top. You get like this little top knot. That's cute. Another free pattern. I didn't mean to go down the free pattern rabbit hole today. It just happened. That's where the pretty stuff lied. And this one, I think if I go back to, I can show you it. Like this was actually done in classy cashmere, but, but in like a semi-solid. I couldn't find a speckle one. Hmm. I wanted to show you guys a speckle. That's the closest I've got. Then you can tell they haven't blocked theirs yet because it's squooshed. Okay. So if you missed the pop-up club the first time or you got it and went, you know what? Now I kind of wish I had more. Smushy and Classy Cashmere are both available again for a limited time. And then I need to grab one click, click link, quick link. <laughs> I do want you to click the link, but it's not what I meant. We still have some great stocking stuffer ideas available, or items. Okay, there we go. So I am going to actually click the link because I can't show you guys the picture if I don't do that. Why is it so tiny? Because technology? Yeah, it's pretty much the swear word of the day. Every day. Oh wait, sorry, I just saw We still have picture. some cultured pearl earrings. Okay. So. Oh, yes. Danielle reordered these because you guys sold us out of them by the end of the video. So we have six more coming tomorrow. They're in the computer as a pre-order, so you guys can call dibs on yours right now. But this is the most handy thing for keeping control of your yarn. You take I wish I had, well, I do have a cake of yarn. I redid that one, but. Improvise. So I don't have a yarn butler left to show you <laughs> on an actual one, but you have your post standing in the middle and then you poke your yarn down on it. It's a little wobbly when it's not actually attached <laughs> to that fabulous sturdy base that it has. And then because it's on a spindle, it, turns as you pull your yarn so it comes off really smooth it keeps your ball of yarn from falling on the floor and becoming a dog toy or a cat toy yeah all of the above and because it's nice and big it will actually hold stuff like savvy where it's a big skein very nicely it's a very awesome tool it's we really weighty on the bottom, so it helps make sure that, you know, when you go and tug your yarn, that you're not pulling the whole thing off the table. And it even has the little rubber grippy feet to add even more security of it not making <laughs> a run for it. Oh, yes. Or just cover it. Covered in? Dog and cat hair. Yeah. Which, I don't know, in my house is inevitable no matter how careful I am, but whatever. 
bonus fiber. Yeah. That's what I go with is bonus fiber. And that was called a yarn a butler. Yarn butler by Chowgu. It is um, the pinned link currently. And there are six available. So if you missed if you missed it, go now. Go quick. As they say, run, don't walk. Yes. <laughs> to go get it. Okay. Then let me link the calendar for you guys and we'll go talk about a few of our upcoming classes. Still got a few pens left in our cute little mugs. Okay, I'm excited because the first one is our last machine knitting class for the year of project-based classes. This is Miss Waz Convertible Wrap. It can be hand knit as well, but if you're hand knitting, knit two rows, knit a row, purl a row for two rows in each color isn't really something that we thought we necessarily needed to do a class for. However, on the machine, people are like, how the heck do you do stripes? <laughs> so we're doing a class. Um, you have a little bit of pre-work to basically get your first solid color block done so that then we can start striping in class. But we did ours with six colors of the Scrumptious Dream and Color Lamb and Goat, which is a super soft wool cashmere blend. We all did sail away sweaters out of it and they were amazing. Yep. There's another color stripe up here. Yep. There's more hiding in the back. Um, if you look at our pattern on Ravelry, you can see We've got pictures that show all the colors. Fun and fast class on Tuesday the 27th from 11 to 1. Then on Wednesday the 28th, we have the Art of Smocking Cowl, which is a really fun project for learning the art of smocking. It's worsted weight yarn. We used one skein of Silky Twist which is the new scrumptious silk merino blend from Art Yarns. And in class, we're gonna teach you how to do the smocking stitch. So you have a tiny bit of pre-work to do the border, which is like five rounds of knit two, purl two ribbing. It's nothing crazy. I did count and on my sample, I cast on 128. It has ah. a different cast on number on the, <clears throat> on the pattern. Okay, so <clears throat> if you like this size, write, write it down. Cast on 128. Um, then on Tuesday, January 3rd, because it's almost next year already. Crazy. We which, have I'm going. the Just Tuck this It one. Cowl, which is this really fun tuck stitch. I know it looks like Fair Isle. It's not. It's secretly a tuck stitch that does this elongated stitch that goes down four rows and gives you these little bubbles. So you're actually only ever knitting with one color at a time. This one also has a tiny bit of pre-work to knit like four rounds so that you're ready to do your first tuck stitch in class. Then last but not least, we have the Grist Mill Cowl, which is the first of our Noventa collection patterns on Ravelry. This one is actually up and available. If you purchase the ebook, slowly but surely, I will be adding more of them. Like I should get one more in today, fingers crossed. Um, and then more will be coming soon. There will end up a total of five. Um, this one, we're gonna teach you how to do this really fun textural pattern. And there's no pre-work except to cast on. Nothing crazy. We're trying to keep the beginning of the year a little relaxing. Because, you know, we all just did too many holidays in a row. And we're a little tired. Crazy time is here. <laughs> so, that is going to be that. We will talk about what we're wearing real quick. Let me pop the links in here before I get distracted and forget. That's why I don't like doing it. I forget what I'm doing. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So I am wearing Birch Bark by Amy Herzog. It is a worsted weight pullover 
that has sizes from 30 and a half to 54 and a half. Conveniently, it could be done out of the classy cashmere pop-up. That'd because, be pretty. As you can see, I did it with a variegated and the cables still show very nicely. It's got this cute little cable detail on the sleeve. She did it with more bell sleeves. I just added in some extra decreasing onto the inside edge to counteract the increases that are in here hmm. to give it more of a fitted sleeve because I miss drag your hands through everything. <laughs> like loose sleeves are not a good idea. So you can always alter the fit a little bit to make things fit you better. And if you don't know how, ask us, we'll help you. I did this one a long time ago because this was the one one of the ones we did when we were doing those custom fit mm, patterns. Yeah. Okay. I am wearing my favorite over thing. What do you want? Oh, it's a small poncho. But Capelet. It's called Capelet. There you go. It's called Floofy with two Fs. I had to look that one up. It is one ball of Alexandra's shawl cake. Or really just 800 yards 800 of fingering yards. weight yarn. It would be so pretty. Oh, it would be really pretty. I more of this kind of cape. I love these things. Super All right. simple knitting. I'll sell you some yarn. Okay. Yay. So nice, easy project. This is another good yeah. during the holidays when you need therapy knitting. Little raglan shaping stocking it and the, some garter. When I get tired of stocking it, I'm like, okay, I'm going to do garter for a while. <laughs> See, you can alter things. There's nothing that says you have to follow a pattern exactly the way it is. I only do that when I'm test knitting. Yeah. And even then, I have been known to alter minor things that I know will not affect the end result of the test knit. Yeah. Okay. You guys, I think that's it for today. We will start pulling your orders. Unless it's for Yarn Butler, then we'll pull the, that tomorrow. tomorrow. Because the tracking says it will be here tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again tomorrow. Have a good day.